everybody. So in this tutorial, we're going to cover how to design an upper splint in Exacad in the new version, version 3.1. So in the right jacket build. So let's maximize this. Let's have a look how we're going to go through. So we are in our indication phase here. We've set up the patient. Uh, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the tooth and you can see I have all the different modules here. Uh, but for the case here, we want an upper uh, splint. So we're just going to click on bite splint. I'm going to 3D print it. And we've got these options and parameters now. So we have the standard option. We can fill gaps if we have gaps there, which we're going to use. We can create an anatomical uh, design underneath the splint if we needed to. So say there are gaps that we're going to create some anatomy to then make a splint over top. And that might be useful if we want to end up using that anatomy in a different phase for that patient. Uh, but for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to keep it simple. We're going to go with standard. Uh, minimal thickness, I'm going to change. Um, in fact, no, leave that at 0.3. Um, block angles, everything else, we're going to do the same, except I'm going to change this occlusal thickness to 1.5 millimeters smoothing everything else exactly the same i'm going to click ok and you can see it's automatically set the antagonist here i'm just going to hold control i'm going to click over these other upper teeth okay i'm going to set this six to six the scan mode i'm going to set digital impression scan i'm going to save this case and let's go to design so it's going to load up uh, the dental CAD 3.1 software to work on this bite splint. Now, hopefully you'll see that this is a little bit more customized than we went through when we went through the, uh, the other software, uh, but the same principles will apply. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to bring in my files here. So on upper jaw, I'm going to select the upper jaw. I've got OBJs or STLs I can use here and the lower jaw obj there we go so we're going to orientate this i'm going to use my right mouse button to just rotate that model there we go so we're facing down over the occlusion and then i'm just going to click next So same as every design we've got with XCAD, we have the option to go through the design editor. Um, this would be useful if we're gonna go through and make a model with this uh, impression afterwards. So all I would do is just tidy up this model at uh, this uh, scan by just clicking over the excess here, double clicking at the end. I'm gonna delete that. And you could do the same thing at the bottom to just help us keep it a little bit tidier. Double click again and delete. Nice and easy. There we go. We've got two nice scans ready to go. Now, here we go. We always get this due to the data inaccuracies. Do I want to cut away the intrusions? I'm going to leave them, okay? Now, we have here, you can see that this first stage is going to block out the splint bottom, same as the other software, and the same thing, really, it's gone directly over the top. And I want to change that a little bit the same way because I don't want all of this undercut here. I want to change this angle of insertion just a little bit more buckle to just get rid of a little bit of this um, undercut here. So I'm going to set that insertion direction from the view like that. And you can see it's just added that uh, undercut to the little bit more of the posterior side of these teeth, taking it away from the buckle side. I'm going to click next. And it's going to generate the, under, the fitting surface of this based on these uh, parameters that we'd set. I don't tend to, to adjust these but if you wanted to, you can increase or decrease those, uh, the amount of undercut it allows. And I would base that based on whether you are, um, you know, what material you're using for your 3D print. Um, in my experience, 
when we compared this to some other software, I preferred the generation of this fits and surface with XCAD. You could see then it's just a little bit sharper, a little bit more, well, a little bit less smooth down. And I tend to find that it fits nicer, but that's just, again, my preference. Um, so click the ginger and teeth to draw the bite splint margin. So all we're gonna do, okay, I'm gonna click 